People, my people, <laughs> we're killing it. Yes, yes. So, grabbing life by the throat, going through its pockets. You're my people. You're also my subscribers. Did I say it? Yes, the button. Subscribe. Now, today I'm here to talk at you about a little something I picked up in the market. It's from Imbue Distillery. It's their elixir. Now, sorry, this is really cold. I've <laughs> left it in the freezer overnight. Now, I must admit, I can't review their suburban gin because, as you know, I've got that little allergy to fennel. And their um, other gin is a bit too heavy on the um, juniper for me. Having said that, this stuff, oh yeah, yeah, it's, like I say, it's the elixir. It's a gin liqueur. So it's 22%. It's the reason why it hasn't quite frozen. It's just enough booze in there to keep her nice and syrupy, which is the way I like it. When I bought this off the good girls at a market, I think it was Bentley. Apart from me, yeah, Bentley, Bentley runs. Yep, let's call it, I bought it at Bentley Market. Farmer's Market, they said that stuff's really good on ice cream. And <laughs> they were not telling a lie at all. It is wicked on vanilla ice cream. We've got um, the upper end of vanilla ice cream. Um, so really good ice cream, really good vanilla ice cream made with real beans. Um, and dribbled a good measure of the stuff over. It's got a lot of honey in it. I will. Um, yeah, the nose is very much um, yeah, bee stuff. And yeah, um, a very strong honey. Um, I'm tasting a fair bit of citrus in there. Um, honey, lemon, and vanilla. Definitely honey and um, lemon in there. Vanilla. Things I do for you guys. There it is. Yep. It just arrived away. Hi, Odin. So, um, uh, so this one, <laughs> the, the little ice cream, magical um, combination. It does come in bigger bottles. And as we all know, Christmas is coming up. Send me alcohol. Oh, sorry. I can't go doing that. This is a product review, not the um, send me alcohol. Mind you, though, if you send me bottles of gin, I will review them. Um, contact me and I will send you my address. So anyway, how's this stuff? Yeah. I wasn't a big fan of um, All Seasons. Another small bottle. And their main gin, I think their dry gin I was. Okay, okay. okay. It's too strong on the juniper. This stuff, yeah, it sorts a couple of evils that, you know, problems out. After all, it's the elixir. So, we'll keep this one short. This is the elixir from Imbue Distillery, which is in Melbourne's northern suburbs. Might be even, yeah. I think they've certainly got a shop front in Fairfield, and I think the um, distillery itself is a little bit further up the Hume Highway. Um, in fact, I shall look on the. No, it says it's in Research, which is definitely one of the northern suburbs. Um, Preston, you know, Epping way. So definitely the north. Um, it's wicked stuff so far. This is the thing I like most from the distillery. Um, and eventually, you know, <laughs> they'd produce something I liked. Um, I've had Kittle of Seesaw. 
It's the first gin liqueur I've actually had as a topping over on a dessert, which sets it apart. You know, if you want to go sneaking the um, good stuff in, it goes over. Oh, no, kiddies, you can't go having this special sauce. It's mum and dad's special sauce. It goes on the ice cream, and you can, you know, freeze this stuff up and um, apply it liberally on your ice cream and cure a couple of um, problems along the way. So, oh, Maiden, you're so impressed with my reviews. You want more of them, so you're going for the subscribe button right now, aren't you? It's it down there. And don't delay, do it today. Hey, hey. And like I say, Christmas is coming up. Um, this would go really well, I think, in the Christmas stocking for people who like something a little bit different, a bit sweeter on the end of the channel. I'm Erden. You're not. You're the subscriber. It's right down there, folks.